Donald John Trump was born on June 14, 1946, in Queens, New York. This bustling borough of New York City was a melting pot of cultures and a place where the American dream was very much alive. The neighborhood was a mix of working-class families and burgeoning middle-class households, all striving for a better future. He was the fourth child of Fred Trump and Mary Ann McLeod Trump. Fred, a first-generation American, had a keen eye for business, while Mary Ann, an immigrant from Scotland, brought a sense of resilience and determination to the family. Together, they instilled in their children the values of hard work and ambition. Fred Trump was a successful real estate developer. He had a knack for identifying lucrative opportunities in the housing market, particularly in the post-World War II era when there was a significant demand for affordable housing. His business acumen and relentless work ethic made him a prominent figure in the real estate industry. He built and managed single-family homes and apartments in Brooklyn and Queens. These developments provided quality housing for many families and contributed to the growth and development of these neighborhoods. Fred's projects were known for their solid construction and attention to detail, earning him a reputation for reliability and excellence. Donald grew up in a comfortable two-story Tudor home in Jamaica Estates, Queens. This affluent neighborhood was known for its beautiful homes and well-manicured lawns, providing a serene environment for the Trump family. The house was a symbol of the success and stability that Fred Trump had achieved through his hard work. The Trumps were a close-knit family. Family gatherings were frequent, filled with laughter, stories, and a strong sense of togetherness. Mary Ann, with her nurturing nature, ensured that the home was a warm and welcoming place for her children. Fred, despite his busy schedule, made it a point to be involved in his children's lives, teaching them the importance of perseverance and ambition. Donald was known for his energy and boisterous personality, even as a child. He was always on the move, full of ideas and enthusiasm. His parents often found it challenging to keep up with his boundless energy, but they recognized his potential and encouraged him to channel his vigor into productive activities. He attended Kew Forest School, a private school in Queens. This institution was known for its rigorous academic curriculum and emphasis on character development. At Kew Forest, Donald was exposed to a diverse range of subjects and extracurricular activities, which helped shape his interests and skills. At age 13, Donald's parents sent him to the New York Military Academy. This decision was made in hopes that the structured environment and disciplined lifestyle of the academy would help him harness his energy and develop a strong sense of responsibility and leadership. They hoped the discipline of military school would channel his energy in a positive direction. The Academy's rigorous training and strict code of conduct were designed to instill discipline, respect, and a sense of duty in its cadets. For Donald, this experience was transformative, providing him with the structure and focus he needed to thrive. The lessons he learned at the New York Military Academy would go on to influence his approach to business and leadership in the years to come. The New York Military Academy proved to be a formative experience for Donald Trump. He excelled in the structured environment. Trump thrived on competition and leadership opportunities. He became a star athlete and student leader. After graduating from NYMA in 1964, Trump attended Fordham University for two years. He then transferred to the Wharton School of Finance at the University of Pennsylvania. Trump graduated from Wharton in 1968 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Economics. After graduating from college, Donald Trump joined his father's real estate company. The company was called Elizabeth Trump & Son. Donald quickly learned the ropes of the family business. He worked on projects in Brooklyn and Queens. Donald was ambitious. He wanted to make his own mark on the New York City skyline. He set his sights on Manhattan. Manhattan was a more glamorous and competitive real estate market. In 1978, Donald Trump completed his first major Manhattan project. This was a pivotal moment in his career, marking the beginning of his rise in the world of real estate. At the time, Trump was a young and ambitious businessman, eager to make a name for himself in the competitive New York City market. He redeveloped the Commodore Hotel, a struggling property near Grand Central Station, 
The hotel had seen better days and was in desperate need of revitalization. Trump saw an opportunity where others saw a lost cause. He envisioned transforming the dilapidated building into a luxurious destination that would attract visitors from all over the world. The project was a partnership with the Hyatt Hotel Corporation. This collaboration was crucial, as it provided the necessary financial backing and brand recognition to ensure the project's success. Trump worked closely with Hyatt executives, negotiating terms and securing the support needed to bring his vision to life. The new hotel was renamed the Grand Hyatt. This rebranding was more than just a change of name. It signified a new era for the property. The Grand Hyatt quickly became a symbol of luxury and sophistication, setting a new standard for hotels in Manhattan. It was an immediate success. The opening ceremony was a grand affair, attended by notable figures from the business and entertainment worlds. Guests marveled at the hotel's elegant design and top-notch amenities. The Grand Hyatt's success was a testament to Trump's vision and determination. The Grand Hyatt established Trump as a major player in Manhattan real estate. This project put him on the map and opened doors to future opportunities. Trump's ability to turn a failing property into a thriving business demonstrated his skill and foresight in the real estate industry. The Grand Hyatt project was also a sign of things to come. It foreshadowed Trump's future endeavors and his relentless pursuit of success. The hotel's bustling activity and thriving business were a clear indication that Trump was just getting started. Trump showed a knack for taking risks and negotiating complex deals. His willingness to take on challenging projects and his ability to navigate intricate negotiations set him apart from his peers. Trump was not content with playing it safe. He thrived on pushing boundaries and exploring new possibilities. He was not afraid to challenge conventional wisdom. Trump's unconventional strategies and bold decisions often defied expectations, but they also yielded impressive results. His approach to business was characterized by a fearless attitude and a relentless drive to succeed. This combination of ambition, risk-taking, and innovation would become the hallmark of Trump's career, shaping his path to becoming one of the most recognizable figures in real estate and beyond. Trump's next major project was even more ambitious. He set out to build a skyscraper on Fifth Avenue in the heart of Manhattan. The site was occupied by the Bonwit Teller flagship store. Trump demolished the existing building. The new skyscraper was called Trump Tower. It was a 58-story tower. Trump Tower was clad in glass and bronze. It opened in 1983. Trump Tower was a luxurious building. It included retail space, offices, and condominiums. Trump Tower became a symbol of Trump's success and his personal brand. Throughout the 1980s, Donald Trump expanded his business empire. He was a man with grand ambitions and a flair for the dramatic, often making headlines with his bold moves and larger-than-life personality. His ventures were not just limited to real estate. He was constantly looking for new opportunities to grow his brand and influence. He acquired casinos in Atlantic City, New Jersey. These acquisitions were part of his strategy to diversify his investments and tap into the lucrative gaming industry. The Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino, Trump Marina, and the Trump Taj Mahal became iconic landmarks, drawing visitors from all over the world. These properties were not just casinos. They were symbols of Trump's vision and ambition. He purchased the Eastern Shuttle airline and renamed it the Trump Shuttle. This move marked his entry into the aviation industry, a bold step that showcased his willingness to venture into new territories. The Trump Shuttle was marketed as a luxury service, catering to business travelers with promises of comfort and efficiency. Despite the challenges of the airline industry, Trump was determined to make his mark. Trump also developed golf courses and other properties around the world. His golf courses, such as the Trump International Golf Club, became renowned for their opulence and exclusivity. These developments were not just business ventures. They were extensions of Trump's brand reflecting his taste for luxury and his desire to create world-class experiences. From Scotland to Florida, his golf courses attracted elite clientele and hosted prestigious tournaments. Trump's business ventures brought him great wealth. 
He became a billionaire. His lifestyle was a testament to his success, characterized by lavish parties, high-profile events, and a penchant for the finer things in life. Trump Tower, his iconic skyscraper in New York City, became a symbol of his empire, housing his offices, residences, and luxury retail spaces. The building itself was a reflection of Trump's larger-than-life persona, with its gleaming facade and opulent interiors. Trump's personal life also made headlines. His relationships were often in the public eye, adding to his celebrity status. He was married to Ivana Trump, with whom he had three children, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric. Their marriage was a high-profile union, often featured in tabloids and magazines. He divorced his first wife, Ivana Trump, and married Marla Maples. The divorce was highly publicized, with details of their split-making front-page news. His marriage to Marla Maples, a former actress and model, was equally sensational, capturing the attention of the media and the public. They had one daughter, Tiffany Trump, adding another chapter to Trump's complex personal life. However, the early 1990s brought financial challenges for Trump. He faced mounting debt. The economic downturn and over-leveraging of his properties put significant strain on his finances. The once booming Atlantic City casinos began to struggle, and Trump's empire seemed to be on shaky ground. The financial pressures were immense, and the media was quick to speculate on the potential downfall of the real estate mogul. Some of his businesses, including the Trump Taj Mahal Casino, filed for bankruptcy. These bankruptcies were major setbacks, casting a shadow over Trump's business acumen. The Trump Taj Mahal, once dubbed the eighth wonder of the world, became a symbol of his financial troubles. The bankruptcy filings were complex and involved lengthy court proceedings, with Trump fighting to retain control of his assets. Trump managed to restructure his businesses and rebuild his fortune. Through negotiations and strategic partnerships, he was able to navigate the financial turmoil and emerge stronger. The Trump Organization diversified its portfolio, investing in new ventures and expanding its global reach. Trump's resilience and ability to reinvent himself were key factors in his comeback, solidifying his reputation as a tenacious and savvy businessman.